So for comparison, here is a normal Game Boy Color. And I, you need to have better light when you play the normal Game Boy Color because uh, you can't really see it that well. But I think that if you if you just have a good light light source, you can kind of you can play with you know no problem. Um, and the D-pad is easier to press. So I <coughs> I might prefer the Game Boy Color, but you know some people really like to have backlit screen. You know I think it works great to play it like this, but. But uh, if the lighting is just a little bit bad, then um, here you go. Here's the uh, GB Boy color with R Type 2. And uh, I actually have both of them turned on on max sound, but uh, this one just drowns the sound of the other one. But the D-pad on this one is a bit stiff. Uh, and if you're gonna play a shooter like this one, like R-Type 2, it's gonna be a strain on your thumb. Maybe you can replace the uh, the ro internal rubber here. I haven't looked into it, how it looks uh, inside. I do have the battery hatch for it too. So uh, this TV Boy Color has become quite popular among some people for the uh, backlit screen, and it plays uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. This is a this is a first generation Game Boy game here. <coughs> this is a Game Boy well second generation Game Boy or Game Boy Color. We cannot uh, switch them. All right. Seems the sound is louder than our Type Two. I also have a custom lit, custom lit Game Boy Color. This one. That has a rather bright image as well. Although this one is more crystal clear, I would say. Well, so that was a bit about the GB Boy in backlit Game Boy colors.